Hi, I'm Andy with EcoCha, and here we are with batch number 16 of the EcoCha Tea Club. And this month we have a very unique uh, batch of tea to share with our Tea Club members. Uh, it's from the southernmost tip of Taiwan. Uh, in Chinese, the place name is called Gangko, which translates as harbor mouth. And it's literally, uh, you can see the ocean from there, and there is a small river that runs into the ocean there with a small harbor, hence its name. And there is uh, a, an interesting and unique history that goes along with this tea. Uh, it begins uh, in the late 19th century when a Chinese merchant from Fujian province settled there and eventually decided it was worthwhile for him to bring back tea trees from Ui Mountain, Ui uh, Oolong tea plants, uh, to plant where his new home was so that he didn't need to continue bringing tea uh, from China. And this was a successful uh, endeavor, and the tradition continued. The, the tea farms continued to be maintained uh, in this unusual place for tea cultivation given that it's right on the coast and there is no elevation to speak of it's there are hills there uh, but uh, it doesn't go over 200 meters in elevation given that it's so close to the sea uh, nevertheless tea plants in general are quite hardy and uh, they do well there and uh, in this case to uh, cure the tea in a way that we find very interesting and special. Most of the tea farmers there, uh, out of the five or six families that remain, uh, produce a type of green tea. They uh, pick the leaves and, and expose them to high heat uh, as quickly as possible. And uh, while it's an interesting tea, we find this family makes something much more interesting. Uh, the, the grandfather of this family, now in his 70s, uh, some 30-odd 30, 30 years ago went north to the tea research and extension station to train uh, as a tea maker uh, under their guidance and with their uh, advice to learn how to produce tea in the fashion that's very similar to Dongding Oolong tea. So it's a, it's a medium oxidation and medium roast tea. Uh, that he uh, puts his leaves through. One family that does this, in this uh, on the southern tip of this island uh, using heirloom oolong tea and uh, processing it in a way uh, that comes from a, a different geographical location uh, to make their own unique style of tea. And we decided that it was most special to choose their aged tea uh, to share with our tea club members. And in this case, this family uh, ages their tea for at least eight years. I was told that this batch is 10 years old. There's a kind of fragrance or uh, finish in the nose in aged teas that, that is, uh, it's the classic caricature of an aged tea. Uh, so we're really happy to, to represent this unique style of tea with a, a unique story and history that goes back over a century. Yeah, the roasted leaves, now that they're fully open after a few brews, offer a very substantial earthy character with a kind of preserved fruit or there's definitely a sweetness. The color is, it's it looks almost like coffee in the pitcher. In the, in the smaller cup, you get a, uh, a deep reddish, coppery color. There's still a transparency and a very uh, viscous kind of uh, shiny quality. The, one of the things that happens with aged tea is that the oils, the naturally occurring oils in the leaf, come out more and uh, it's more apparent and evident in the flavor profile of an aged tea. This tea, uh, when you're brewing it, you can use a little less in terms of the amount of leaves used and it brews forever. I mean, you're going to get a lot of brews out of this. It'll outbrew your uh, capacity to drink it, I believe. In the end, uh, of course, the flavor will change over, over each 
through and in the end it'll it'll become lighter but there's still a substantial flavor profile there to be enjoyed so uh, even more so than other oolongs even uh, oxidized and roasted ones this offers a larger or broader spectrum of flavor uh, over several brews so I suggest starting out uh, brewing it uh, with a shorter time interval you know maybe if you're doing the standard of using about nine grams in a 150 milliliter teapot start with 40 seconds maybe it brews quite quickly so you could even go as, le as little as 30 seconds and then slowly increase from there and that'll allow you to get uh, to experience that spectrum as the leaves open and and the constituents uh, come out in the brewed tea uh, we're really excited and and I Every time I drink this tea, it just it uh, thrills me that I found something new after 25 years of exploring here, and uh, and just kind of re uh, reinstates that what I already know that it really is an endless exploration. So there you have it, aged harbor tea from Gangko in Pingdong County, Taiwan. Thanks for being with us. Please share your own comments on this tea and any of the batches of tea that we share with our tea club members. Put up your own tasting videos so that we can all uh, share in this community that we're, uh, we're endeavoring to create through our Eco Cha Tea Club. We'll see you next month.